Hi, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And you're here to find out about police officers and family law in Florida. Keep in mind that in addition to this video, we have other videos on our channel where we talk about a whole host of family law issues, whether it be time sharing, child support, final hearings, you name it, we got it. So please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down below. While family law in Florida is applied the same way to all people in all industries, police officers deal with a specific set of issues that may make their type of case much more complicated than others. One thing that police officers deal with that makes their set of circumstances unique is their retirement and benefits. Depending on whether they're part of local, city, state police departments, their benefits can wildly vary. Whether it's just a trust, or is it a full pension to be paid out once the police officer reaches a qualifying age, it may be very difficult to evaluate and equitably distribute that pension or asset in a divorce case. There are also specific issues if that pension does have what is called a survivor benefit plan or something similar, in which during the life of the police officer, there may be a pension given. However, if that police officer predeceases their spouse, there is a chance that if you've applied for the survivor benefit plan, that that spouse can continue to receive that officer's pension for the rest of their lives. Another thing to keep in mind is the type of schedule that police officers have. Police officers have varying types of schedules. They can work a simple daytime schedule, or sometimes they work overnights, or even graveyard shifts. These schedules need to be carefully taken in consideration when addressing time sharing or parental responsibility with their minor child or children. If you are a police officer who tends to work later shifts, you may want to take in consideration how that would affect the child's everyday schedule and whether you can apply for a different shift or just make a more customized parenting plan to allow you to have time with your child while still being able to fulfill your obligations as a police officer. I typically suggest in all my cases that both parents work together and agree on a type of schedule which allows both parents to have significant time while allowing them to operate their professional needs as well as their personal needs. However, if your case is required to go to court, it's going to be very important to note and explain to the court through testimony or physical evidence to show what type of work schedule you have, the trend of your work schedules, and the times that you're in fact available to be there and exercise time sharing with your child or children. Another thing that comes up a lot in my cases in which involve a police officer is the amount of overtime that they do. It is important to note that overtime can be calculated as part of child support if it is regular and continuous. So the history of overtime can be taken into consideration as well as the likelihood of future overtime. This can obviously change if additional time sharing with the minor child or children may affect that officer's ability to gain or collect additional hours of work over their traditional 40 hours. However, if there is a history of doing regular and continuous overtime, and that regular and continuous overtime can still continue despite the time sharing, that additional income will likely be considered as part of their child support or even alimony obligation. So if you or someone you know are a police officer going through a family law matter, please feel free to contact our office. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, or hit the notification button below. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.